However, there's a small problem with this approach. What if you have a two hour project? Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Long Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com. And did you know that you can do this in DaVinci Resolve? Before we start, we're currently running uh, our holiday deal where you can have access to all of the Film Simplified courses, uh, the full Vivid Pro LUT pack, uh, the full title pack, the full practice footage library. It comes with lifetime access to all the courses and includes all the updates for $97. Uh, you can check it, the link is in the description. Sometimes you might want to work on a project, but the project is sent to you as one edited file. So you don't have different clips, you simply have one video file. So for example, here I have one file and I want to cut this file into different smaller clips. Now, of course, you can go through the file and maybe find where each uh, clip ends and where the next clip starts and then create a cut here and just keep on doing this to all the files. However, there's a small problem with this approach. What if you have a two hour project? then even though technically you can do it, it will take forever. Well, Resolve offers a very simple solution. I can tell Resolve to split this file into different clips. Doing that is pretty simple. I simply need to go to timeline and here I have an option that says detect scene cuts. If I click it, now Resolve will go through the clip and find the cut points. Let's speed this up a bit. And once it's done, notice that now Resolve just cut this long file into different clips by basically detecting where the cuts happened. And take a look at this cut, for example, even though both clips are very similar, Resolve was able to detect the cut here. And of course, this is not final. For example, if Resolve made a cut at a point where there should be no cut, you can simply right click on the edit point and select delete through edit and now resolve just join the clips again let's undo and if there is a point where there should have been a cut here but there is no cut you can simply just select the blade and create a cut or maybe use a keyboard shortcut now let's undo everything and go back into having one file on the timeline the limitation with this system is that it's based on the timeline so it's not like you can select a particular clip on the timeline and ask resolve to detect the scene cuts of this particular clip it will just work on everything on the timeline Timeline. So for example, if I have this clip here and I will just create a cut here in the middle. So let's zoom out a bit and notice that here we have two separate clips. If I go now to the timeline menu and click detect scene cuts again, Resolve will repeat the same thing. But again, it will do this for all the clips on the timeline and not for a particular clip. That's why this option is in the timeline menu because it works on all the clips on the timeline and it's not in the edit menu, for example. And now that Resolve detected the scene cuts for all the clips here and here. So this works on all the clips on this particular timeline. So I hope this was helpful. If it's uh, helpful, check our uh, holiday deal that is currently running. You can find the link in the description. Thank you. Filmsimplified.com